Hello everybody, welcome back to Housewife Sunday. The update life video. This is a video I am like literally doing this. Some really like weird stuff has transpired in my life and I want y'all to come back and I want y'all to get this tea. We're gonna also do a flower arrangement while we talking so y'all can see how I do my flower arrangements for the house. And I'm going to vent to y'all what's been going on because y'all gotta be updated. Hey y'all, welcome back to Housewife Sundays. and I give y'all this tea. I just want to tell you thank you all for the support. Um, the support has been crazy. Like my page has been doing awesome. I'm going to be doing stuff while I'm talking. My page has literally been doing awesome. Um, my subscribing, y'all just watching the vlogs, y'all supporting has just been amazing and I'm just grateful. I'm like sincerely humbled and grateful. So I love y'all all lots of love. Now let's get into the scoop. Do, 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 do. Let's get into the scoop. So... The big announcement, we're moving. We are moving, we are in the process of moving. You notice my smile kind of turned into a low key frown. We're moving. Um, this is not something that was planned. If you've been following me, you know our plan is, is that, well, just to update you a little bit, we uh, relocated to Georgia about a year and a half ago from Michigan, so we have been Georgian since then. We moved um, to North Georgia where we were, the plan was is that we were gonna be purchasing this home that we're living in and inflation and life and everything happened and um they ended up breaking a contract that we ended up having bind it and we're gonna get into more of that but pretty much we are gonna be moving um so and we were gonna sit in this house that we're in and we're recording right now um until we found our land which we have currently we have ongoingly been looking for um and start the process of getting a house built from the ground up so um in the midst of that let me just explain to you just like whenever you have a plan and you tell god to plan god always laughs he always laughs because that's never gonna be the plan it's always gonna be his way and his way is always bountiful and blessed and we should always go his way anyway but like i said i be i do be like making my own little plans and me and my husband have and i'm i am a tourist i'm a control freak so i feel like if you don't plan you fail so i like to plan so, um, like I said, that was the plan. We were going to stay in this home living in North Georgia until we found the land. We were going to purchase this home. We were then going to resell this home. And this home was going to be the money that we were going to get from purchasing the home was going to be used to put down on the start of building our home. I'm just giving you basic terms. It gets real tricky, our lawyer. But that was the plan. That was the plan. So, um, about two weeks ago, we ended up getting an email that woke, up, woke us up out of our sleep. Um... And before we get started, we are, these are beautiful green hydrangeas that I found at Whole Foods today. And some beautiful peach roses that I'm going to put. This is going to probably be the last arrangement that I place in this home. So I wanted it to be green, always brings new life, fertility, fertility money, wealth, you know, peach, my orange, happiness. I just, this, this color just does it for me. So, um... Yeah, so that was what it was. But anywho, so I'm going to try not to get emotional because this is a, it's a lot. So we ended up getting woke up out of our sleep. Um, and we got woke up at, I'll say, at like 11 o'clock. We got woke up from our lender from an email for them pretty much saying that they were not um, acknowledging the contract that we had set for this home. We had just redid the contract um, with everything that has been going on because eventually we were, it was kind of like a rent to buy situation. When we had just redid our contract, we were gonna purchase this home at a set price. Inflation has occurred on um, the person that's selling the house is being greedy and pretty much saying, I'm not gonna sell the house for that price that we set on and agreed on and made it a contract with and that you either pay this price or you have to, you, you or you just have to, you have to evacu evacuate the home, the home will be sold to someone else. So uh, to our imagination, to, to our imagination and to our mindset, um, we had already had a set price. This home is not worth what they actually have inflated it for. Um, and 
And we just like, and just, we prayed about it. I cried about it. And God was just like, this ain't it. And you just, you just got to move when I tell you to move. So we had to move. So um, we ended up getting that email. Um, we ended up within that email. This is just some plant food I'm putting in that I got from Whole Foods. I normally kind of make, I do my own thing with the plant food. But um, we ended up getting that email. And then immediately within, I'll say, 48 hours, we were contacting our lawyer. Um, and pretty much we were like, what's going on? Like, we need you to look over this contract. Um, you know, we feel like they're playing us. My mom was even like they need to. And they and it was. It was. They were. So we are still not going to be done with this once we move. We're going to be dealing with this for the next couple of months. Um, I will try to update you guys on what's going on. Um, it's, this has been happening to a lot of homeowners. I'm glad that we were not affected. Like some of these stories that I have found, I found one story in Texas where they actually pulled out, the builders pulled out after they had put equity from another home into this home and got a bill and they actually pulled out because they wanted to sell the house for more than they had already agreed upon. And they're like going through this big lawsuit with them now. So, um, greed is causing a lot of issues to happen in the home market. I'm, I'm still not educated too much on it. My lawyer is, my husband is, but just know that, you know, God is always in control and he's always going to work the situation out. So, um, immediately we were like, okay, well, we're going to find, um, a home to rent temporarily because we, this is a rush thing. We have like 90, 60, 90 days to kind of figure something out. We're going to find a home to rent. Um, so right now the market is absolutely horrible. So we started to look at homes to rent, um, in the area we're in, kind of in different areas. Um, and the houses were ugly. Um, the houses were very ugly. The houses were very outdated. Um, I really honestly, and another reason why we didn't want to purchase this house is because to me, this house is not as updated as it could be. This is a brand new built house. Um, we were not satisfied with the way this house was built. This house has a lot of flaws. This house is very dense. Um, it's just a lot of things we really particularly didn't care for us, but we were buying it as an investment aspect. So we weren't looking at it like that. You know, those were things that are, were our preference. But to, if you're selling a home to someone else, that may not be their preference. But to me, it wasn't what I wanted. We do, the, we do have an elevator in our home. Like that was like, that's like a selling point. The house is very large. The house is three levels. Um, it is a two car garage, but it's just not, it, it's, it's more of a townhouse aspect. And it's just not to me, it's just not worth the pricing that they put on it. If I told you the pricing they put on it, I have a million dollars. I have a million. On the home, you will fall out. So, um, you know, we just weren't feeling that. We really weren't feeling that. So, like I said, we started looking at homes. Homes were ugly. Um, we started looking at condos. We started looking at apartments. Um, we just pretty much have been looking. Oh, this one kind of, oh, this one is broken. I have to put it in the middle now. Um, we just been looking at everything and we just been letting God kind of guide us. But, um, you know, I wanted to share this because I just wanted to say that God is fully in control. And even when there's times when you don't know how things are going to play out, you have to just kind of, you know, hand it all the way over to the Lord and just let him work it out. I initially was very, very, very saddened. Um, I was just, I kind of was, I kind of felt betrayed. I kind of felt angry. I kind of felt like, you know, God, why are we going through this? But then, and then, especially with me making, you know, the formal decision to go back to law school and making preparations for that. But when I really looked at the situation at home, I don't know where I would be going to law school at. I do need to be very versatile with that. Um, you know, and I know whenever God, whenever, you know, whenever something is something gets changed in our life urgently and it kind of, you may, it may have a little bit of evil behind it. I know that God is going to give me double for my trouble. And he has, he's already withstand. We already know where we're going to move. We've already found it and it's beautiful. And like, it's like, you know, later on there will be more videos discussing it, but I just wanted to update you and just like for anyone that may be going through something traumatic you may feel or something that blindsided you or something that you did not know how I was going to play out that God is always in control and you know even when I have my moments now because I still have my moments you know whenever I in my head because you know in your head you're going to make up all of these what ifs and when I start making these what ifs up um and you know I go through it in my head what's happening is 
I'm gonna have to cut those down a little bit, these down a little bit more. What's happening is, is that God is coming through and he's like, no, 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 there isn't any of what ifs. I'm getting ready to make this do what it do. You're gonna be fine. Don't worry about it. Like, just do, just, just be due diligent and stay in your faith and just watch me work. And he's been working. So that's just kind of what you have to do. You have to understand that, you know, when God says no, it really is a yes. And that's really what it's been. It's truly been a yes ever since we've gotten that 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 terrible news and i already know that when we you know the court and the law and everything's that we're going through and then this is this gave me more confirmation that i needed to be a lawyer because i'm just like i i just think of uh, so many other innocent people that have fall fallen victim to situations that have been you know they've been driven by greed and and a lot of people have kind of probably been played because they don't have the means or they don't have the money you know to get a lawyer and i do plan on doing a lot of pro bono work i do plan on just you know just volunteering my services because i'm so blessed i don't i know that I, I i'll get back i'll get that back everything isn't about money you know a lot of times god gives you these gifts so that you can help others you don't you're not going to always get a mon monetary reward he can reward you in favor he can reward you in obedience he can reward you in, in your life being longer it's so many other ways that god can reward you and you just have to understand it and look at it like that um so and i don't do things as for reward you know i do them out the kindness of my heart because it feels good it feels good when i give back it feels good when i can do for somebody so that was also kind of a battle i was having like god do i deserve this what did i do but God came to me a couple of times in my dream and he was just like, I'm not punishing you. I'm rewarding you. I'm, I'm elevating you. I'm giving you better. I'm doing better for you. And that's all this whole situation has been. It's been better, y'all. It has really, really been better. So I just had to share that with you guys. Um, a little bit of updates on, um, you know, on law school. Like I said, I am currently getting ready to study for um, my LSAT. Um, our one year anniversary is July the 7th that we've been married and it looks like that what we're going to be doing with that is we're going to be moving. <laughs> so I am going to be posting some things to my Poshmark. Um, I'm going to try to get that done. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it before we move. Um, because it's like we, we're literally going to be moving in the next couple of weeks. Um, but like I said, I do want to get rid of some items. I don't want to take as many items with me. Um, because I am going to be sharing with you guys where we moved, how we decided to move, and you guys are just going to fall out because this is something that we have been wanting to do for such a long time. And it's, and you got to watch what you say, watch what you, how you speak things, because, you know, it's been plenty of times we've spoken to God and said, Hey, you know, we, we, we would love to live here. And now he's given us more than an opportunity and blessed us with what we asked for. So just understand that the tongue is powerful. You know, and even when you think it's not, it, it, it really is. Even when you may think God is not listening, he is listening. He's listening to you, you know, all the time. He's hearing what you're saying, what your thoughts are, what you're asking him for. So just be aware of that. I think awareness is, is, is really important of that. But like I said, um, we're moving. We're doing, you know, we're doing what God told us to do. And, um, you know, I will be sharing uh, you know, as much as I can, I really, you know, it is a safety and security thing. I really don't, you know, I try to share and, and, you know, I think I do a really good job with sharing everything with you guys. I've been sharing things with you guys over the, over the course of years with my brand, but I also have to think about safety. Um, and I will tell you to do that too. If you are someone that has a brand, you want to think about safety and just being safe, but that's what it is we're moving we're definitely moving um these flowers are coming out absolutely gorgeous 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 i did prune some of the leaves because some of these had some little some leaves that needed to go look at this with a dead bug on it i out here um i do prune i need to buy me some pruning shears because i just use use scissors but um i am gonna plan on buying me some pruning shears but i love you guys to the moon and back Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you keep us in your prayers. Um, and I'm just grateful that I was able to give you guys this update. I can't wait to show you guys a small piece of, oh, this one flipped upside down, a small piece of where we are going to be going. Um, and like when we are and how we're gonna plan on doing that. I can't wait to show you guys that. And um, I love you to the moon and back. And look at this absolutely beautiful, it came out, it came out beautiful. I got to prune off some of these leaves because we got a lot of leaves going on here, but I want some, but 
this arrangement turned out so pretty and so different and then you can always i uh, lean flowers on we've got the hydrangeas in there we got the peach roses we are just doing it honey and like i said i just all i just add plant food to mine um i don't do the whole TikTok thing i just add plant the plant food and just keep it going and just drink it do what it do but i'm so grateful that you guys joined me for the life update i had to update you with that keep us in your prayers guys um and i will keep you guys updated on what's going on and i look forward to you watching another housewife sundays i love you to the moon and back and bye don't, don't we go